Hey, how you doing? It's Ryan from Interactive Garage. We get questions all the time from users of Interactive Garage uh, at their location. How, what is the best way to display the Interactive Garage? What browser is the best one to use? And not have your customers be able to bounce out of the page, right? You know, you don't want someone going onto your display, going onto, you know, Google, Bing, Amazon, or what have you. You know, how do you get them to stay on a, your interactive garage? So um, first off, uh, with all the browsers out there, you know, Firefox is a great one, but lately Chrome has been the one that we're really suggesting that everybody uses, uh, and mainly because of, uh, of this full screen mode that I'm going to show you. So, you know, no matter if you're using a Mac or a PC, um, I'm on a Mac, so what I'm showing you here is what the Mac uh, screen share will look like, but the PC will be uh, very similar, if not exactly the same. So I'm gonna pop over to a screen share. Okay, so what I've done here is I've, um, this is the, uh, the full screen application that we use for our demo, uh, the one that you get from us uh, that we call kiosk mode. Go ahead and, and put that in here. Um, and then what you're gonna wanna do is um, uh, over here, is what I call the hamburger menu, or it's called the hamburger menu. It gives you the ability to do a couple things. One is you can, you know, depending on your screen size, you can go up and down as far as how large you want uh, your interactive garage to show up in your screen. And then right next to that here is your full screen mode. So if I click that, it is gonna go into full screen mode here. So again, it's not that this is a foolproof way, but it does help out a little bit for those, you know, customers of yours that might not be super tech savvy to know that, yes, if they just scroll the mouse up or touch, uh, if you're on a touchscreen monitor, if they touch up into this area, they will be able to see everything like getting out of full screen mode and, and everything else. So again, it's not foolproof, but it's at least uh, a deterrent. Um, so to get out of this full screen mode, yes, you do come up here you hit this button, it'll come back out of full screen mode. Um, if you are in full screen mode and you do see your toolbar, it is because right here, you know, you it, full screen mode does allow you to show your toolbar, uh, but we obviously don't want that. So just make sure you go into view, uncheck that, and it goes away. Um, one other thing that we'll, I'll show you real quick is, so again, in this hamburger menu, Come down to settings. So we always suggest in your settings that in your uh, home page that one, your home button is enabled and your home button's right here. And that you type in your URL for your interactive garage. So that way, you know, if you turn your computer off at night, come back in in the morning, you relaunch it. All you really have to do, no matter what window is open, is hit this home and this will automatically load up. You come over here, you hit your full screen, and you're ready to go. So, um, you know, that's kind of the tricks of the trade right there. A uh, nice, simple way to put it in full screen mode and uh, deter uh, your customers from bouncing out of it. So we'll keep doing some tips and tricks like this uh, for you, but this is the full screen one. So if you have any questions on that, ryan at interactivegarage.com. Uh, or give me a call anytime, 435-879-8208, extension 1. Thanks.